to the Man Cave Cinema. My name is John Zanettos and today is episode six for the Man Cave Cinema rant. But today, good news, no rant. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood. I froze my butt off, but I'm in a good mood. Today we will be reviewing... Bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. Ooh, let's bring this closer. There we go. The Antennas Direct uh, clear stream v2 or 2v sorry which has the oops, let's well, the fancy uh, vhf uh, antenna and the standard uhf antenna so what it was i got this installed yesterday <clears throat> and also i installed the clear steam juice because i have more than 100 feet of uh, coax cable going from the antenna to my electrical closet and to where my uh, Tavlo, uh, Tavlo DVR is set up. So uh, I got that hooked up too. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> hmm, voice is kind of rough today, but let's, uh, let's try to make it through. What I did was I have, here's my original Clearstream, um, see oops see how small this is this is the original one that I had so that with this original one I was catching about 25 to 26 channels <clears throat> and it didn't have the as you can see the VHF antenna across the top and to let everybody know here in Toronto there's only one channel that has uh, that's on the VHF which is 9-1 which is CFTO and they're the only ones on VHF everybody else is on UHF so it was a good little test to see if there was an improvement at all with it so here's the old one the new ones attached into the uh, into the attic <clears throat> the problem <clears throat> excuse me it's this minus 5,000 freezing cold weather even though I had to install this uh, the the new antenna into the attic uh, I mounted it onto a two by four onto the uh in my attic so i was half in the attic my upper body was in the attic my lower body was nice and warm in the in my son's room where the attic uh opening is uh but still very cold very tough to work on everything just <clears throat> just all that cold air coming in there i could be catching that from that anyways but with the new antenna installed uh, with the uh, with the uh, Clearstream 2V and the one that uh, Antennas Rex sent me had the J mounting kit, which was the J the J uh, bar, and um, and the and all the accessories that I needed to attach that. So I didn't really need that. All I did was just replace the uh, the old one, Ta -da. and uh, uh, put in the uh, new one in the same spot. Tighten the fly screws on the two by four pointed it south towards uh, Buffalo, New York. As there's no, like in the Toronto area, for anybody in the U.S. who doesn't, uh, doesn't know, Canada, uh, Toronto has the world's largest erection. Yes, it has the world's largest reaction, uh, erection, which is called the CN Tower. The CN Tower is over 550 meters tall. I forget how many feet that is. But the only real reason it was set up back in the 70s was because this area is so flat that we needed a tall antenna to be able to broadcast throughout the whole area so hence that's why it was really realistically built and they decided oh let's put some observation towers and charge tourist money to come up and see the city so um so i don't have to point the the antenna directly to the cn tower because it's only 18 miles away if i did and with the juice I would over uh, so, sort of overrun or uh, just the the, uh, the tuner on the TV would just would just have too much uh, electrical uh, current going through it from the signal and it would just overrun the the uh, the tuner and I would catch nothing. 
So uh, by just by pointing it south directly, um, I'm able to catch off on the side. So for instance, let's say this is pointing south, right? Doop. Let's make this neat. Pointing south, the CN Tower, well, let's get this in the middle here, comes through here on the sides. And this is going out of focus. So it's coming here on the sides and it will pick up this antenna will pick up from the sides no problem it's so well engineered i mean you don't really have to point it directly at anything just point it into a general direction now remember <clears throat> go to antenna point uh, dot com or go to tvfool.com put in your zip code or your postal code and it'll tell you exactly where all the transmitters are so you have a pretty good idea where to point it now for you cord cutters this is the only toughest part that you have to deal with is pointing it once you've pointed it now remember don't just put it up there and hope for the best you have to go and tweak it a little bit make sure that you know depending on where you you, you want to aim it you're catching the right amount of channels and you're getting what you're expecting once that's done screw everything down lock it down clean up the wiring make it all look nice and neat and you're good to go now the difference between the old model, the the, the Clearstream 2, and the Clearstream 2V is the VHF antenna. Okay, that's the only difference. Now what I noticed was I caught the exact same amount of channels, which was 26 channels. So I've caught all the uh, network stations in Buffalo, New York. So ABC, NBC, CBS, ABC, PBS and quite a few independent stations but the independent stations are all religious stations so not a big deal and not really good, any good programming there but also i was able to catch from toronto all the canadian uh, networks ctv cbc um uh, ctv and and the and global tv and the rest of them and then also i was able to catch two yes two from the west end, from west of me, so the CN Tower is east of me, exactly, and west of me directly is another city called Hamil uh, Hamilton. And they have two independent stations, and I was able to catch the two channels from there. So I was able to get that with the old one and with the new one, and including uh, with, uh, with the juice. Now, oh, I just want to mention, <clears throat> before, with my old antenna, I had the older the predecessor to the juice which was the clearstream pa not the 18 that's the other uh amplifier i think it was the 16 or 14 i can't remember i tried doing some research on it i couldn't find the number but anyways so by put so just to show the juice and the old model there isn't any difference it keeps the signal strong all the way through the 100 feet of uh, cable that i have the juice I'm assuming is just the new version of that old one that goes with these antennas uh, that, that that I have here. So again, more than 100 feet, get the juice. Less than 100 feet, don't bother. <clears throat> it's not gonna allow you to catch farther stations. It's all just gonna override your TV tuner and, uh, and you'll lose channels instead of gaining channels. So less than 100 feet, not needed more than 100 feet definitely need it because you'll get signal loss throughout that throughout the 100 feet by putting these in keeps the uh the electrical current through your line uh uh, uh regulated and uh you won't have a problem losing any channels due to cable length remember uh the rg cable will leak like a sieve if it's really long but with one of these it'll keep it nice and tight and nice and clean and you'll have a nice uh signal so the only again the only difference that i found also i caught the same amount of channels the the same signal strengths but but the the uh, vhf channel here in toronto uh which is channel 91 for cfto i ended up getting about three to four bars higher than it was before so that little vhf uh, vhf antenna that sits on top is very good now i was hoping there's a VHF channel in Buffalo. Now, the problem with that channel is it's very low powered and you cannot catch it with a, v, uh, with a UHF antenna. So I was hoping with the VHF antenna on it, I was able to get it. 
I was not able to get a lock on it at all. It's just, it's not a problem of the antenna, not at all. It's just that it's such a low powered signal and it's meant specifically for the Buffalo region. All the other ones like ABC, NBC and all the higher, uh, all the network ones, there's no problem with it coming across Lake Ontario. Now, if you look at Toronto on the map, <clears throat> between me and Buffalo is Lake Ontario, which makes, you know what, it's clear. There's nothing, signals just fly everywhere and can be easily caught by the antenna and pulled into your house. So that's the one privilege that we have here. If you live in the, in the city of Montreal, where if you want to catch the U.S. stations, they're all on the Adirondack Mountains pointing towards Montreal and the surrounding areas like uh, Vermont and uh, and uh, I forget what the others the New Hampshire no New Hampshire is too far over anyways Vermont's the 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 uh, the main signal so people from Montreal because the transmitters are on a mountain they're short transmitters but they're such in the mountain that it floods the area and with any of these antennas you can catch that and the cool thing about it is Montreal situated is pretty flat area but it has this old volcanic mountain that's been dormant for millions and millions of years which is called Mount Royal which is right in the heart of the city and guess what's on top of it yes you got it TV transmitters and all the Canadian uh, channels are transmitted through there so it's really easy to catch uh, all the Canadian uh, signals again Vancouver another big city out there you know you're close to Seattle there's mountains and everything everywhere transmitters are put up high there's no need for a big giant tower so you'll have no problem catching these signals and if you live in the states in a big metropolitan area with lots of cities around just pick a direction make sure that you catch your local stations and whatever extra stations come in from the antenna notice no need to do anything else okay so again old one versus a new one hardly any difference doesn't matter because they're both excellent antennas um, but you do get a little bit more VHF so if there's VHF channels in your area pick up the 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 2v if it's all UHF you can go with the uh, with the with the 2c now the difference is uh, a $10 price difference that's it the 2v with the VHF antenna <clears throat> is $89.99 from uh, antennas direct uh, if you want to buy one, you can go to the Man Cave Cinema, the first banner ad at the at top, click on it, goes takes you straight to uh, Antennas Direct, place your order, and we get a little bit of something uh, of that sale uh, just to help us out and hopefully produce better videos, better stories, better stuff. Just, you know, we need money. We're kind of down. <laughs> we don't have anything here. Anyway, uh, and also for the standard clear stream without the VHF antenna is $79.99. So it's just a 10 buck difference. If you want the extra insurance of the VHF antenna, by all means, spend the extra money. Then also for $99.99, you get the, the, the one they sent us, which comes with the stand and all the mounting uh, screws. So you can put it outside on your roof, on the side of the roof, or even on uh, in your attic. Um, we strongly recommend outside uh, and make sure with the with the uh, with the with the uh, stand that it's mounted higher than all the houses around in your area so you can catch a clear signal and you won't have any problems and this thing's tough I'm telling you this thing's tough it'll put up with snow apocalypse and it'll uh, it'll last forever so not a problem with that and remember the money that you're going to spend on this when you're a cord cutter you spend it once no subscription fees no nothing this this is your yours you own it goes on your roof you pick up free signals that have been mandated since the 50s to put out tv signals that's how people caught tv in the 50s and 60s was over the air and then cable in, came in in the 80s screwed everything up for us made us pay too much and now that we have high definition tv free over the air what's the point no need to, to pay for cable anymore and that stupid HD fee. Oh, we're going to charge you five bucks for just to watch HD. Wait a second, asshole. I can put up an antenna and catch it for free. You understand what I'm saying, everybody? Damn camera. Anyways, that's it. Um, what else do I want to say? I think that's it. I think that's my review of the uh, of the uh, Antenna Direct Clear, uh, Clearstream 2V. 
This is a highly recommended Man Cave Cinema product. Go out, get it. Go through the mancavecinema.com. Click on our on our banner link. Buy it from Antennas Direct directly. That will help us out. Any little bit of money that comes our way, we can improve. We can get better microphones. We can get better cameras. Uh, and and the thing was, I have no camera to take with me up in the attic because I wanted to show a step by step process and how everything was uh, hooked up and uh, and set up. But just we don't have money to buy cameras, and I just have to explain it. Uh, that's the best. Excuse me. That's the the best I can do right now. Just this little webcam, this uh, half decent microphone, and that's it, folks. But again, going back to it. Antennas Direct Clearstream 2V and the 2C. The V is the VHS. The other uh, V VHF, VHS, VHF uh, are your best bets for cutting the cord, and you're off to the races. Anyways, that's my rant. Not really a rant, but a review. And I'm John Zanettos, and we'll see you later. Bye, everyone.